Hi everyone, happy holidays, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you're new here. My name is Aika, I post a lot of fashion related videos, shopping vlogs, reviews, regular vlogs, unboxings, um, styling videos and stuff like that. If you're interested in any of these topics then make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, turn on the bell to be notified every time I post a new video and you can also follow me on my Instagram at bonjouraika, at stylegram daily, two accounts and say hello there, I would love to have a chat with you guys. But today's video, since we are at the very, very end of the year, I have decided to talk about my hits and misses of 2022. I have a few of amazing purchases, I have a few of not so great purchases and we're going to be talking about all of them in this video. I think let's start with the worst purchases, right? Uh, let's just, let's get them out of the way and then focus on the positive. So the very first is a handbag that I do not have with me anymore because I sold it um, probably a month ago to a lovely subscriber of mine from YouTube. She's from the Netherlands and it's the her bag. Her bag in bubblegum pink uh, with this burgundy color. I love this bag when I bought it. I just found out that um, we we're having a baby girl and I was so excited. And I was honestly in this pink mood of mine that um, I went for a pink her bag. And uh, as much as I enjoyed it during the pregnancy, once I gave birth, pink just left the room. As you can see, I'm now in my you know, comfort zone once again. I'm wearing these darker tones, more muted tones, and I just enjoy them so much more um, than say pink. I love a pink color for sure, but um, probably not on me, not in a handbag. But it was a beautiful bag. I was so excited to have it in my collection, but now I'm very happy that someone else is enjoying it and uh, using it. And uh, yeah, no regrets there. I already actually bought the replacement. Um, I haven't unboxed it yet, but I will in the next video, in the next two videos. But anyway, I will be revealing um, the handbag I went for instead of the hair bag. So stay tuned for that. And now let's move on to number two. It makes me sad to say this, but it's this Chanel East West um, flap bag. This is a vintage bag, somewhat vintage. I feel like it's from 2008. I don't remember, to be honest, but uh, it's an older style. It's an older bag, maybe 2012, actually. I don't remember. But anyway, I found it at this vintage boutique and it was in excellent, excellent condition, like new condition. And um, I've decided to go for it because I really wanted a beige classic flap. And I love it. I mean, it is so, so freaking fabulous, but at the same time, I still haven't had the chance um, to use the bag. I only used it once uh, in August in during our holiday trip, and that's it. Ever since that, it was just sitting in my closet. I got it in July, I must say, end of July, and then in August, I wore it uh, during the trip, as I said before. And after that, I was too heavy to carry anything with my baby. I gave birth and, um, you know, we just started going out um, this month only because um, she was too tiny. She didn't have any vaccines yet. And I feel like this is the reason why I haven't reached for this bag. I haven't been out a lot, to be honest. And this is not the most, uh, you know, baby friendly bag right now. Um, I know I will use it in the future, but as of right now, I have to say this was kind of a miss. The next I have this beautiful, beautiful shirt from Burberry and I love this shirt so much. I got it from Luisa Villaroma. I think it's still available, so I will link it below. Um, I would love to wear this shirt, but with a baby, whenever we go out, sometimes I have to feed her. And since the buttons don't go all the way down, it's kind of tricky to keep it on and breastfeed the baby at the same time. That's why I haven't worn this shirt yet, but I bought it um, right after I gave birth basically. And that's why I still haven't had the chance to wear this shirt. And it was kind of pricey, you know, for a shirt. It is fabulous. I mean, I love it so much and I already got the uh, leggings to wear with it because it's pretty long. Um, but still, once again, as of right now, I would consider this a miss uh, simply because I have not worn it once. Next, you'll be a little bit surprised because I raved about the shoes like so much, but 
it's my Loewe sneakers. They're so freaking fabulous. And I feel like just because I got them um, like in the middle of fall, once again, when I gave birth, I didn't have a lot of time to really wear and enjoy them. And also I feel like the color is a little bit tricky to style. I mean, if I wear something very monochromatic like this outfit, for example, in this dark gray shade, this would work, you know, as a pop of color. Why not? It will look nice. But at the same time, if I wear color, it gets a little bit tricky <laughs> to style these sneakers. And uh, yeah, I still love them. I cannot wait for spring to start wearing them more. Right now, once again, I will put them in the miss category, but it doesn't mean I don't love them. Next, I will include this LV bag simply because I did not use it as much. I don't know why. Honestly, I love the color so much. It is such a beautiful color. And in my head, I feel like I need to have something in the same color to be able to uh, use the bag. But it's not true. It's not true. If I wear a monochromatic outfit, even like this one, once again, I can easily, easily, easily style it with this um, pop of color, you know, with the, um, this bag. It also has black and white detail right here. And once again, it is super easy to style with a simple black and white outfit. This bag will be a pop of color. It has a top handle. It comes with a longer strap to crossbody it. I don't know why I haven't reached for it that much. I wore it a few times, one, two, maybe maximum three times, and that's it. I will try and do better next year. I was even considering selling this bag. And now when I think about it, I'm like, this is so stupid because I love this bag so much. I really have to make it work. I, I have to put some effort in. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do because I really, really like it. And um, I don't wanna sell it to be honest. <laughs> I really don't, it's so cute. And lastly, I have uh, this guy from Celine. It's a phone holder, nothing wrong with it once again, but uh, just because I now wear this very oversized jacket, I feel like I don't reach for it as much. Um, if we were in fall, maybe in springtime, I think I would get a lot more use out of it. So for example, with this outfit as well, you know, it's an easy thing to throw on and just go and do your thing. Um, I feel like, yeah, just because it's so cold outside and because I have this, you know, very, very oversized jacket all the time, um, this just looks a little bit ridiculous to style with them. <laughs> That's why I don't reach for it now, but I will for sure in summer uh, when it's a little bit warmer outside, at least when I switch to um, a thin leather jacket, let's say, not my, you know, huge uh, totem jacket, <laughs> which I absolutely love. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately for now, um, it's going to the miss category. Uh, my battery is about to die. I'm going to go change it very quickly and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So this is everything for um, the misses part. Now let's move on to the good part, the uh, hits, um, purchases of 2022. Number one are my Celine boots. I'm obsessed with these boots. They say Celine at the back. They have a little logo over here. They're in nylon material. They also have a little bit of leather all around them. I was so afraid that they, would, they wouldn't be comfortable, that they would give me blisters. They are the exact opposite. Um, they're so comfy. Um, they look so amazing with all of my outfits, with everything I wear. I'm just obsessed with the shoes. And even when it's really, really cold outside, I still can wear them because of the chunky sole. You know, these shoes really keep me warm. They look so stylish and uh, obsessed with them. One of the best purchases of 2022. The next, simply because we are in winter, I have to add this. Um, I got them on sale quite recently, but I've been using them every single day for the past two weeks. And to me, this is a lot already. So these are the boots from Jimmy Choo. They have a little logo over here in silver. They have fur inside. They are the most, like one of the most basic um, boots. They have this wide stitching all around them, but they just look so good on. They're also so very comfortable and they're so, so warm. They're everything I wanted in a boot and they're so easy to put on and take off very comfy. I love walking in them. I can walk in them the entire day and my feet won't hurt or anything and they do really keep me warm. So 
for sure the best purchase. The most amazing thing is that I got them on sale. So I got them 50% off. They ended up being $4.97, which is such an amazing price for a pair of shoes like this. Love them. The next two pieces are over here. It's my Folco bag and I spoke about it in my favorites video and this is still my favorite bag. The best purchase of 2022, I swear. I just use it so much. I use it every, every single day and I feel like now ever since I started filming vlogs, I feel like you guys are tired of seeing this bag on every single video. It honestly feels like I don't have any other bags because I just use this one all the time. But it's the comfiest, I love the size, I love how soft it is, it goes with everything, all of my outerwear, um, it goes with all of my boots, you know, because it is so simple, it doesn't have any hardware, it has a little bit here in gold. But I mean it's so tiny, <laughs> you can barely see it, so it goes well with everything and anything. This is what it looks like inside, suede lining. I used to change my bags every single day before having Adele. Now with Adele, it's very tricky. Whenever we go outside, I have to be very quick dressing up. I don't have time to, you know, switch the bags or anything, but also I don't want to because I just enjoy using this one so, so much. It is the best. The next best purchase is this card holder. It is from Celine once again. Towards the end of the year, um, in the fall, I feel like I bought so much of Celine, but I just love this brand so much. It's in um, this monogram with tan leather, white stitching, such a cool piece. It is so easy to use. It fits all of my cards, all the cash, all the coins. And I love it. It does feel a little bit bulky if I want to use a smaller bag, for example. But still, it is not as bulky as a full-size wallet, let's say. And it still fits perfectly in the Folco bag which is perfect and I love it so much. Honestly, one of the best card holders that I own. The next, how could I not add a classic flap? I, I was dreaming of a classic flap for a long time and then last June, no, this June, um, I managed to score it in Paris, Rue Cambon boutique. It's in black caviar leather, gold hardware, you know, as classic as you can get. I didn't want it in lambskin because I have a Chanel Mini in lambskin and honestly, I just really wanted a caviar leather so I really don't have to worry about it. I don't have to baby it and I'm so glad I went for this one. It is just such a classic. It always goes up in price. The price increases on this bag are ridiculous. On all classic flaps, so ridiculous. I used it quite a bit honestly during summer in fall time I did use it as well ever since I had Adele I haven't reached for it as much um, but I still love it <laughs> and it's definitely a hit because I wanted this bag so much next is this little piece over here it is also from Celine everything I showed you guys is from Celine and you must be so annoyed but honestly I feel like this year I haven't shopped all that much uh, during my pregnancy, there was no point to. Uh, but then after I had the baby, I don't include a lot of the things that I currently like simply because it's only been like a month and I feel like that's not enough uh, to tell whether or not it was a hit or a miss. Probably next year I'll do a video like this again and I will include those pieces and we'll see how I like them. Like the Celine bag, for example, where should I put it? I just got it. So, you know, it's a little bit tricky with those pieces, but during the pregnancy in general, I just haven't bought much things. <laughs> That's why this video is going to be kind of short, but I was going to show you this pair of sunglasses from Celine and you know I feel like everybody at this point has a pair like this but they're just so good they're so beautiful I got them um, in uh, this uh, brown frame they have the Celine logo on the side and I wanted these sunglasses so bad I was looking for them everywhere in Geneva one place had them but the price was kind of ridiculous because they were sold out everywhere and then I found them on my Theresa. The price was so good. It was honestly the lowest one among any other stores, um, but 
yeah, if they're available on my Theresa, I will link them. I would highly recommend them. They're just so freaking fab. Then I actually wanted to talk a piece that I don't have on me because um, I put them somewhere since it's summer shoes. I put them away in a box and I couldn't find the box and I don't have a lot of time to look for them, but I have decided to, you know, put a clip over here. So I'm talking about Mac and Mac shoes with a bow. They're so beautiful. This was a gift from my husband and I love these shoes so much. They're definitely a hit. They're so beautiful, especially in this bright green color. Some people go for a black version of this. I understand why, because they look so, you know, elegant and classy at the same time. But um, for a crazy shoe like this with a crazy bow right in the middle, I wanted to go for a crazy color as well and green is so freaking perfect i feel like they're so beautiful i do like the ones that come with an anklet as well but i really do prefer this version they're just a lot easier to put on and uh, take off i know they're a dressy shoe but still whenever we go on vacation for example during summer they're the perfect shoe to go out for dinner or stuff like that and i'm just so excited for spring summertime to uh, wear them again this year I could not wear them all that much because of my swollen feet but i'm so excited for next year and they're like one of my most favorite shoes out of my entire shoe collection so yes definitely definitely a hit and the lastly i want to talk about my jacquemus bag over here um this is a hit because i really like the camera bag shape it is so beautiful i don't wear it now all that much with a very oversized jacket i cannot cross body yet i feel like this strap is a little bit on the shorter side as you can see even wearing a chunky sweater it's already a little bit you know right under my boob but having a jacket on top i cannot cross body yet and i don't really like carrying my bags on a shoulder to be honest because they always slide off very easily and it's just annoying to keep um, putting it back on that's why i haven't reached for it recently but before when i first got the bag i used it quite a bit and i really really enjoyed using it i really love the texture of it and uh, that's what i actually mentioned in my favorites video because this bag was also on the list and i know i'll get so much use out of it um, when it gets warmer and when my jackets are not as thick so yes another amazing purchase of the year but anyway this is everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching happy new years and i'll see you in the next one bye